Dr. Wendy Walsh is a psychologist and a blogger for her momlogic.com. I know she has a lot to say about this. So um, <laughs> is this like saying it's okay to play around as long as it doesn't mean anything? There, there, there's no emotional connection. It's just sex. Wouldn't it be great if Just Sex could be that clean and neat and tidy? We have two major films out right now, Don, about the fact how love gets in the way. One's called, what, Love Drugs and, or Love and Other Drugs, and the other's called No Strings Attached. The truth is, sex partly was invented, besides for procreation, to actually create a bond, to keep people together long enough to have children nurse them and get them up on their feet. So we have this wonderful hormone in women called oxytocin, and it's the female bonding hormone, and it's only released in massive quantities in two times a woman's life, during breastfeeding, for bonding, mm -hmm. and during female orgasm. So even if women are trying to hook up, many of them ha are having trouble adapting to a kind of hookup culture or infidelity. Okay, so uh, Dr. Wendy, what's going on? You and I talked about uh, people are waiting, especially women, waiting longer to get married. There is a gene that can be responsible for cheating. It may not be your fault. And then this new study basically saying that an open relationship might be the best formula for a long-lasting, happy, successful relationship. What's going on in our culture? I'll tell you what's going on in our culture. I think people w have wonderful wishes that they could be pleasure-seeking pleasure without any kind of consequences. You know, it used to be very dangerous or more dangerous for women than men to have sex because of the potential for an unwanted pregnancy or the potential of uh, public shame because of the double standard or the, pre uh, the possibility of, co of contracting an STD. But we've found ways to kind of protect from some of those things. We have contraceptives, uh, we have condoms to help protect from STDs and now we have this hookup culture where women can but be as comfortable doctor, expressing their sexuality as let men. Let me ask you this so mm -hmm. I mean might we need to sort of reassess and change what we think about a relationship um, instead of this sort of puritanical way that we uh, that we judge or base relationships on I mean is the culture changing and I might some of this stuff be right? No, I think what's changing is we're moving away from relationships based on religious doctrine, mm -hmm. on law, and we're trying to find some common ground where men and women can share emotional intimacy and trust, and that is easier said than done during monogamy. Yeah. Now, monogamy doesn't have to be lifelong. It's suggested in our hunter-gatherers, in fact, that monogamy probably lasted four to seven years, and that's about as long as it takes to get pregnant, um, protect a woman during a few vulnerable years of pregnancy and breastfeeding, and then maybe have a second child and then move on. So this whole idea of till death do us part was invented when death was pretty imminent. <laughs> so now that we have these long <laughs> lives, people are having more of a kind of serial monogamy. They're like, is but this it? Is this it? Is this the only person I'm going to be with for the rest of my life? And men and women, though, they probably have different approaches to this, don't they? I'm sure men may be a little bit more open to this idea of an open relationship. Of course, because women, men don't have the same biological wiring to bond through sex that women do. So it's much easier for men to hook up and not women. Now, what's really interesting is that, you know, jealousy is wired in us from our early anthropological days. And women are more jealous of emotional infidelity in their men. There's one of my favorite studies, Don, asked women would they prefer that their husband saw a prostitute for one hour once a week or had long lingering intimate lunches with a female co-worker and most of them chose the prostitute because that was a quantified amount of resources leaving the household but an emotional intimate connection could mean they could be totally rejected and all the resources could be diverted to the new woman yeah. so men more fear physical infidelity because of course their fear is that they'll end up supporting a child that's not biologically theirs okay. Well, Dr. Wendy, I learned a lot from that, and I need to uh, lay on the couch and talk to you because I, I didn't get the jealousy okay. gene. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's, you know, I'm weird in some way, but we'll talk about that later. Thank you.